guiding us without our proper ears to hear him, man, Satan going to get us every time. So, how do I overcome being deaf? If we were taking notes, you overcome being deaf by relying on the Holy Spirit. Well, how many times do I rely on the Holy Spirit before my ears get clean? Well, when you first rely on the Holy Spirit, he's going to start cleaning. But every time you come back and rely on your humanity, you're going to put some more stuff in. And so you'll see this battle going back and forth, and that's Romans chapter 7. When Paul says what? That good that I want to do, the good that I know to do, the good that I desire to do, I mean, like being a good husband, like being a good employee, like not stealing, like not lying, like not robbing, like not spending all my money on foolish things and saving my money. All the good things I want to do, for some reason, I do the complete opposite. I tell you, it's not in my heart to do wrong anymore. But for some reason, I do wrong. And that's that humanity and that Holy Spirit battle going back and forth. The inability to hear. God is constantly communicating. But you can only hear him a little bit. We see in the Old Testament, they talk about the still, small voice of God. Just a still. And, and when we look here in this story, and we see Jesus interacting with this individual, he doesn't yell. And I growing up in church, I remember seeing some of the individuals pray. And boy, they would scream to God. I thought they would show them hope. They get to yelling and screaming and asking the Lord to do all kinds of things with a powerful, loud, screaming voice. And as I matured and God took me to other spiritual settings, I was moved by the small, still, confident, quiet prayer of a little old lady. Didn't scream, didn't raise her voice, but there was such confidence, there was such faith in everything she said. So we see that this man is dumb. I don't have time to tell you about the other wax components of the world 